Hello and welcome to today's topic, curing lights. Curing lights or curing lamps are handheld devices that contain light source and are equipped with a relatively short, rigid light guide made up of fused optical fibers. A few lamps have power unit connected to the dental handpiece by a long flexible liquid filled light guide. At present, the most widely used light source is the quartz bulb with a tungsten filament in a halogen environment, similar to those used in the automobile headlights and digital projectors. More recently, other types have been introduced with advantages that have made them increasingly popular. Four types of lamps may be used for photo initiation of the polymerization process. Light emitting diode lamps or the LEDs. Using a solid state electronic process, these light sources emit radiation only in the blue part of the visible spectrum between 440 and 480 nanometer and do not require filters. Here the solid state refers to the physical state of the lamp. On passing electric current, this light source emits photons that produce, uh, visible, that produce radiation in the visible spectrum between 440 and 480 nanometer. These are less damaging compared to the previously used red LEDs and do not require filters. LEDs require low wattage and can be battery powered, generate no heat and are quiet because a cooling fan is not required. Although they inherently produce the lowest intensity radiation, the latest versions are more intense and utilize two or more LEDs to both increase the intensity and to extend the wavelength range. Quartz tungsten halogen lamp or the QTH lamps have a quartz bulb with a tungsten filament that irradiates both UV and white light which must be filtered to remove heat and all wavelengths except those in the violet blue range about 400 to 500 nanometer. Here, what is the difference between radiation and uh, irradiation? Radiation is a natural process that occurs automatically. Irradiation is a process that is done forcefully. Uh, example, in this QTH lamp, Vibrational energy is converted into light energy. The intensity of the bulb diminishes with use. So a calibration meter is required to measure the intensity for better treatment. Plasma arc curing lamp or the PAC lamps use xenon gas that is ionized to produce a plasma. The high intensity white light is filtered to remove heat and to allow blue light about 400 to 500 nanometer to be emitted. Argon laser lamps have the highest intensity and emit a single wavelength. Lamps currently available emit light at a wavelength of about 490 nanometer. Comparing the curing lamps, LED, QTH, PAC and argon lamp. LED lamps have the lowest intensity while argon laser lamps have the highest intensity. Based on the order of low intensity to high intensity. Uh, LED lamps contain LED, light emitting diode, while QTH is quartz tungsten halogen lamps. While PAC is a plasma arc curing lamp, argon laser lamps with the highest intensity. This LED is made up of semiconductors, while QTH is made up of quartz bulb with a tungsten filament. PAC lamp made up of xenon lamp, while argon laser lamp is made up of argon gas laser. Radiation. LEDs emit radiation only in the blue part of the visible spectrum. QTH irradiates both UV and white light. It is the conversion between the vibrational energy to the light energy. PAC lamps emit blue light only. Argon laser lamps emit at single wavelength.
of 490 nanometer wavelengths 440 to 480 nanometer in case of leds 400 to 500 nanometer in qth 400 to 500 in pac and about 490 nanometer a single wavelength in argon laser filters why are filters used they remove heat they alter the intensity required they remove unnecessary wavelengths in leds they do not require filters while in qth they filter the excess heat all unnecessary wavelengths except those in the violet blue region pac removes heat using filters while argon lamps do not require lasers conditions for a curing lamp a curing lamp with a wavelength range strongly overlapping the absorbance range of the resin's photo initiation system must be selected here the wavelength of uh, the lamp must be nearly equivalent to the absorbance of the material used intensity of light decreases with distance to a larger scale that is sometimes we refer a thousand as 10 to the power of 3 we are simplifying a larger number to a smaller uh, value of the same value therefore the lamp tip must be placed and held at the minimal distance possible throughout the exposure interval 20 seconds or more curing angle is critical since maximal intensity is delivered perpendicular that is 90 degree to the resin surface therefore the lamp tip must be placed and held cl as close as possible to 90 degree throughout the exposure interval lamp intensity should be evaluated frequently and adjustments should be made to ensure sufficient radiant energy influx about 16 joule per centimeter square for adequate curing for example we are taking a lamp that emits 1000 joule per centimeter square for curing but in that place for curing of the particular material we will be requiring 800 joule per centimeter square energy due to energy dissipation in the form of heat or removal of unnecessary wavelength we will be getting only 750 joule per centimeter square of energy in that place there will be a shortage of energy so to end there we need to ensure that there is sufficient radiant energy influx training is required to develop the best practice techniques for optimal intraoral curing Faster curing with higher intensity light sources can increase shrinkage stress. Safety precautions to be followed while using curing lamps. The light emitted by the curing units may cause retinal damage. If a person looks directly at the beam for an extended period or even for a shorter period in case of lasers. To avoid such damage, never look into the light tip and minimize observation of the reflected light for longer periods protective glasses and other types of shields may be provided to increase protection for both the dentist and the patients to conclude if you light a lamp for someone else it will also brighten your path let's use this curing lamp to provide a better smile tomorrow Thank you.